Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another Real Talk. It's Monday the 13th of June, I'm GDJ. Right, my first off, my apologies for not having many Real Talks being put out on time and on date, so I'm going to do this one on Monday uh, for the week uh, pro onwards. Uh, the reason for that, we haven't had many tournaments or any community tournaments or of anything really for Paladins until after DreamHack and then announcements are made for up and coming plans. Uh, so that out of my hands but I do apologize nonetheless I've been putting out my uh, payload series so if you're enjoying them thumbs up thank you very much right first off the dates it will be on the 18th Saturday the 18th uh, 19th and 20th right first up you have smite on the Saturday which your placement round will be first which is red Ca uh, canios versus chaos Latin gamers that's on the smite side of things then Pantera versus uh, OM uh, OMG team eager versus hungry for more than enemy esports versus the the winner of the placement match which is red canyons chaos Latin gamers and then you have saw gaming G2a going up against paradigm and then on from there semi-finals best of five finals are best of five um, now that the Sunday, which is all the se semi-finals, right? Now uh, semi-finals already are torpedo in the semi-finals. Uh, just phenomenal for Paladins already there. Obviously, it starts in the semi-finals, right? So Saturday all starts with Smite. Sunday beginning of the Paladins. Uh, so Paladins semi-finals game one. Uh, is Torpedo, this is on the EU side of thing, Torpedo GG versus District 69. Uh, District 69 rocking a brand new symbol, loving it. I think that's awesome. Um, as I'm just going to switch over, there we go, comes up. There's your teams, Torpedo, District 69, Saw Gaming, and Warpath. Now, uh, semi-final number two will be Saw Gaming versus uh, Warpath. Just to let everybody know, uh, Saw Gaming have two teams out there in the... Dreamhack Masters and Dreamhack uh, Paladins, uh, obviously Paladins and Smite. So well done to them, congratulations. Uh, you know, Kangana being picked up by Saw Gaming. Uh, you know, it, it was a talk of the town. It was pretty good. It was you know a lot of ifs and offs about the sponsorship, what's happening and whatnot. No one seems to know. It's all being kept under lip, but nonetheless. So and then of course we go on to the semi-finals of smite which will be the winners out of all them lot we you know we're not really we're not here for smite but we you know we love smite as well we'll be watching the smite but monday all right grand finals i you know it's a best of five all the games of the paladin series are best of five so the semi-finals are best of five and the finals are going to be a best of five the grand finals game one will be up matchups between the winner of torp and district 69 and of course saw gaming versus warpath gaming Right, as you can see, the brackets, as I've just told you, moving on. Uh, my picks and thoughts for this. Uh, I, I'm a little sceptical, because I was. this is not how I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be Seed 1 EU versus Seed 2 NA, and a lot of other people did, and then we got it got announced that this is how it's going to go down. So, obviously, there's going to be an NA EU uh, final, which, you know, we didn't want it one-sided. So, like, it could have been both... NA teams in the final could have been both EU teams in the final. Who knows? So this way, you know, we're going to have one from each region, and uh, you know, best of the both of them. We'll see. So coming up, uh, my thoughts. I'm gonna. I've got to pick Torpedo over District 69. Uh, Bugsy has one of the best Kinesa plays out there in the world. Um, District 69 went through a horrid preseason, switching and swapping and God knows what, but they still made it, so thumbs up to these guys. You know, they're representing the EU and they're doing us proud, so well played. Remember, guys, this is a $100,000 tournament, first ever land for Paladins, and you know what? Couldn't have two best EU teams out there. Well played by both teams. Congratulations on qualifying. Um, but my thoughts and prayers and everything, everything that is humanly possible tells me that it's going to be Torpedo, in the final for EU. Now moving on to NA, Warpath. I was my my Cinderella pick to qualify, and they did. Like all the teams that I said could, uh, would qualify did, and I'm quite happy about that. Um, Saw Gaming versus Warpath. Now on paper, what you know, Saw Gaming are looking extraordinarily strong. Uh, Warpath have been struggling to beat them as of late, but they have beat them in the past. Um, 
I'm going to have to... I, I would like to see Warpath go through, but I'm going to have to give it to Saw Gaming. But hey, we all know this is LAN, and vice versa. District 69 could knock out... I mean, look, let's, let's just roll back a second, and let's go over the upsets that could happen here. Uh, Torpedo being knocked out by District 69, and Warpath knocking out Kangana. Like, how crazy does that sound? Right? But just imagine if that happens. How Like... War, you know, Torpedo went in from preseason into qualifiers and then into playoffs with a win ratio of 91%. That is massive. And then all of a sudden, District 69 come in, in the, on the Sunday for the semifinals and knock them out. Ooh, hello. You know, that, that's, 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 that's a little crazy. So, uh, I'll just bring it back. There we go. So... Like you, you, you just picture that right now. Yeah, that's 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 that that's one hell of an upset. And I'm I'm curious to if it happens. Wow! Like oh my god. But I I can't see it happening. Um. Uh. In, a, in when we did the podcast with TJ, we were, which by the way you can check out. I'll leave the description the, the uh, video below in the description section. Um. I was going on about how I felt Torpedo was strong. Zerfel said uh, District 69 are a strong team, but he can't see him beating T Torpedo. I happen to agree with him. Uh, District 69 has a lineup. Jarrah, uh, Shipper, Elvin, Bugsy, and that, that. They're very. When they're on form, they are a force to be reckoned with. But, like, some of the guys tilt, and then they have a bad game. Now, it, it all depends if they show up. I don't know. A nerve's going to kick in. I mean, you know, this is their first ever major land attempt that these guys have been to. So let's find out. Um, like I said, it's all going to happen. We're going to find out one way or the other. Uh, this is just my thoughts on it. I think it's going to be Torp beating District 69. I think uh, Torpedo, they're going to be boot camping. They're going to be pretty solid coming out of that. Uh, you know, I've got to give it to Torpedo. I, I don't want to be one-sided, though. And, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here saying, oh, I'm going to give it to Torpedo, blah, blah, blah. But I don't want to knock District 69. They had a tremendous run in the uh, preseason. They looked incredibly strong. I mean, well, when I say preseason, they had a crap preseason. They went through so many different roster changes, name changes. And then all of a sudden, District 69 pop up. They're on the board. And, you know, they're looking bloody good. Now, going into... The likes so uh, so we go back from pre so like the preseason now into qualifiers and they were you know they were looking good they struggled in the first two weeks went through in the third week or was it second week third or second week third, uh, second week sorry and it was you know they looked absolutely outstanding uh, they lost in the finals to torpedo could it I do believe they actually took a game off torpedo in the first week but sadly didn't happen um, I don't know now we go back to NA. Kangana went straight through, but that, that there was that they like if you talk about easy for them, like they they came up with against no name teams, boom 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 boom, boom straight through, seed one you expected that it, it you know they had an easy run it was it was plain sailing they they weren't it there was no way that Saw Gaming weren't going to win this, um, and now you look at their playoffs again very distinct very to the point. And very direct play coming out from them. And I've got to hand it to them. The boys look bloody strong. They look great, in fact. It's going to be very hard to say who's going to take the final. Uh, it's either going to be Torp or Saw in the final to, to win it. Um, again, like I said, there could be an upset. Who knows? I might be completely wrong. And, like, they come back and, like, it's Warpath versus District 69. If that happens, I'm going to be over the moon. It'll be incredible. Just for the fact of the upset. Like, nobody's going to believe that if it happens. And it's like, are we, is this real life? What? But, um, Saw Gaming, Torpedo in the final. Oh, my God. That's, like, we saw, um, what was it? It, they, it was Back to Basics back in the day um, versus Torpedo in the Reddit final. I might have got that wrong, actually. Let me think. Was it Back to Basics? I had this written down. Uh... No, it was. Basic bases, weren't it? In this Reddit. My brain doesn't remember that far back. I've slept since. Mm, yeah. Well, we'll go with it. You know what? If I'm wrong, sue me. Whatever. I'm bad. Uh...
back to basics and torpedo torpedo taking the reddit finals and that was the last time we actually had any sort of, and that was first person point of view casting back then if you remember so talk about matchup of the gods man torpedo versus saw in the finals i mean that's 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 history setting right now you, you just take just take a minute to you know let that sink in these these guys have been so dominant in their regions that they're about to clash like this could go if i see these two clash and it doesn't go all the way and it it's just one-sided then there's something wrong somewhere i mean these two can take games left and right. And if, if say, Saw came and coming and just destroy Torpedo, everybody's going to be going, uh, what? What? I mean, but anyway, I, the, I, I say that, but like I said, I feel like I'm disrespecting Warpath in District 69, and I don't want to do that because these guys are great guys. I know these guys. Personally, I, I speak to these guys. They are all tremendous players, you know, and they've put their hearts into doing this. And you know what? They deserve it as much as anybody, and who knows they could pull it out. So... That being said, um, I want to quickly go over Saw Gaming and Torpedo's run. Preseason, Torpedo had one of the best runs, it, best, best, best runs the world has ever seen. I'm telling you now, uh, they look so dominant. In fact, they were dominant. They, 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 wasn't, they didn't look, they were. These guys came in and slaughtered everybody. Now, uh... Two weeks prior to coming up to qualifiers, they had a bit of a bad run where they lost out to TQM in the finals. They were the first team to beat them out. Then Death and Taxes beat them as well. And, you know, and then in the final week, they came back strong and boom, back, back on the number one spot. But, but, coming through to qualifiers, that they were dropping games. Now, the reason they were dropping games is because they were playing smart, thinking with their heads, okay, we don't have to rush in. Like, obviously, the game, the meta changed and, like, they had to rethink their ways and strategies and stuff like that. And they did. And they did it in such a profound way that makes them the best team in the world. Now, they've shown quality and quantity throughout everything. So, the reason I've picked Torpedo is because of their backbone. Teal, Princess, uh, those two players are... And, and you know what? Custom. And not a lot of people talk about Custom because he's always in the back line. The same with Princess. And I think it's only me that talks about it. And I want to give these guys their props. He's not always the Spunky show, all right? Spunky's great, and that's my bad for hyping the man up. I felt like I put him on a pedestal before he even bloody won the thing. You know, and I, that's on me, and I do apologize for that. But Torpedo has such a strong lineup. You've got Custom, Princess, Theo, Tor um, Spunky, Zerfel as a coach and whatnot. Who am I forgetting? That's one I'm forgetting. Who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting someone. I, I, am I being rude here? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting someone. I'm forgetting someone. Tip, tip, tip to the A. I'm forgetting someone. I can't remember the bloody name. And I, he's going to kill me. And he's going to shoot me. And he's going to be very mean to me. And he's going to not love me anymore. It's okay. My brain is... Oh my God. How can I not remember this name? Uh, I'm going to have to look this up. This is so bad. I'm okay with this though. Don't shoot me. No, it's not. Who is it? Now, right, tap torpedo, add custom. See, I know all the boys at torpedo. How can I be forgetting someone? My brain does not compute. This does not sit well with me. Princess, lazy, custom, spunky, feel. I haven't forgot anyone. Yeah, feel, spunky, princess, lazy, custom. Right? Yeah. Who did I forget? If you if you do know how I pick up, write it down in the comments so that I that, don't do it again. Lazy, that's it. I speak to Lazy the most. Like, how can I... Oh, Lazy, I love you. I'm sorry, bro. You you may write something mean in the comments about me. I'm sorry. Um, But those guys all have... I, I don't want to say solidarity, but um, they've all got a way about them that says... They all have their different play styles. And like lazy me in the shot caller, Theo being the shot caller as well. I do believe I might have got that one wrong, but um, they play in such a way that they that they're very smart in the way they think. Whereas Saw, they just come across like when you watch it, they just got they 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 all go. 
Like, there's, like, the handbrake's been torn off. There's no brakes on this. Pe it's go. Boom, boom, boom. They're dead. They pick out they pick out a target. That person dies. And it's, boom, simultaneously wiping the field. And that's how it seems with uh, Saw Gaming. Now, for those two to clash, that's, that's looking a little scary. <coughs> so, anyway, moving on. Uh, casters for this event, it's going to be Dry Bear and Vox. I cannot wait. That'll be a great duo. Uh, of course, Dry Bear being his shoutcasting. He's had a great uh, shoutcasting career. And, of course, being lead developer for Paladins, he should be able to pick up some things. And, of course, Vox doing an incredible job throughout um, all of uh, preseason and uh, the qualifiers. You know, so that's really good. Um, other than that, guys, uh, obviously, we can't really do much more on Real Talk until after DreamHack. And I will do a DreamHack review uh, afterwards. But my hopes for the future for Paladins is we get some sort of pro scene or a league that where, like, the players can come in, try and earn some money and stuff like this. And that, and that to me, is pivotal. Because if Hyras do that, then they're, you know, they're, they're back in their own game. And that's... And that's exactly what we want to see. So anyway, guys, thank you for listening to me rabbit on. I'm going to pop it over to the other screen. And you guys can check that brackets out just for the moment. Until then, au revoir. Enjoy on high res TV. All right? Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. The Smite's going to be there. Paladin's going to be there. I cannot wait. It's going to be phenomenal. Thank you guys for ever so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please do leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Till then, guys, enjoy the brackets. I'll be back in a bit.